The path module provides a lot of very useful functionality to access and interact with file system. There is no need to install it. Being part of Node.js core, it can be used by simply requiring it. There are different useful methods we can access with path module. Let's just take a look at the different methods of path module which you can use in Node application. So here I'm going to say constant path is equal to and then specify require statement and in the double code I'm going to specify path module. As I said earlier, you don't have to install this path module because path is inbuilt module in Node. This path module have different useful methods. Let's start with the base name method. Here I'm going to say file is equal to and specify here path dot and I'm going to call a method base name and in the parenthesis of this method I'm going to specify the file name here I'm going to specify test.json the base name method is going to return the last portion of the path so when I save the changes and print this file using console.log I'm going to have the last part of this path save the changes and execute this file as you can notice I'm going to have test.json as a result so this base name is going to return the last portion of the path so whenever you want to get the file name from the path you can use this base name method just for that we have a directory name method here i'm going to say path dot dir name this method is going to return the directory part of the path so here i'm going to save the changes and execute this file as you can notice so this will just return this directory tutorial then just for that we have is absolute method so here i'm going to say is absolute this method is going to return true if it is an absolute path now when i save the changes and execute this file it's going to return false because this is not an absolute path so here i'm going to just specify the absolute path of this folder save the changes and execute this file as you can notice i'm going to have true as a result so this is the absolute path so this method will going to return true so whenever you want to find the absolute and relative path you can use this is absolute method just after that we have join method so i'm going to just copy this statement paste it down here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just divide this part in different pieces so here i'm going to create a variable let dir is equal to tutorial so here i'm going to just specify this tutorial folder and just for that here i'm going to say path dot join i'm going to call the method join the join method is going to join different path so in this join i'm going to specify this c drive so i'm going to copy the c drive in the single code i'm going to paste it just for that i'm going to specify comma and specify the second argument and in the second argument i'm going to copy this path and paste it here just like this so this is my second path and just out of that i'm going to specify here comma and then specify this tutorial folder so i'm going to call this dir variable like this and at the end i'm going to specify the file name so i'm going to specify here test.json and now let me get rid of this statement save the changes and execute this file when i execute this file as you can notice i'm going to have the complete path inside this file variable so using this join method you can join different path very easily you can notice here i did not specify any forward or backward slash to this c drive or here as well the join method will automatically specify this forward or the backward slash depending on the operating system i'm using windows so it will specify the backward slash just start that we have parse method so here i'm going to specify parse and in the parenthesis right here as an argument i'm going to specify the tutorial folder forward slash then specify test.json let me just get rid of this directory and now let me just print this statement save the file and print this statement when I print the statement, I'm going to have the result something like this. This parse method will return different segments of the path. So here it will return root, directory name, base name of this path, extension of the file and the name of the file. So this parse method is very useful. This will return all the information of the path as an object. So we will get object as a result. Just after that, you have a resolve method. So here I'm going to say resolve. This method is going to return the absolute path of the file using the relative path calculation. I'm going to save the file and execute it. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have the absolute path of this file using this resolve method. So if you don't know the absolute path of the file, you can use the resolve method. 
This method is not limited for absolute path. If you want to specify the base folder name, you can do that as well. Here, I'm going to get rid of this tutorial right from here. And as a first argument, like this, and at the beginning of this tutorial folder, I'm going to specify forward slash. So this resolve method will take this tutorial folder as a base path. So as you can notice, the path module is very helpful when working with a big node project. Next, we'll talk about event module. 